What amazing side game should we add to our game? High speed racing with big guns and explosions. MMORPG with everything. Player gets chased. And then I came along as a young boy, loving The Simpsons, loving the zombies game. Let's mix them together. I just need to do two easy things before I can do this. One is get copyright so I can use The Simpsons. And two, learn how to make 3D games. First, copyright. I went into their website, YouTube Video Maker. Nope. But I'm stubborn. So other not listed above. I would like to make a Simpson game where Simpson zombie chase the player, but the player has to kill them. It's going to be fantastic and great and whoa. They reply. Unfortunately, after reviewing your request, we regret we cannot grant a license. What? Who wouldn't want to see their characters get shot? But fair enough, let's not use the Simpsons, let's just make it Simpsons inspired. Next up, I spent two days of learning how to create 3D games. And with my newfound professionalism, I should be ready to go. Here's the plan. First, a basic map. We need a floor. There's the floor. We drop on grass and boom, we have grass. After adding some roads, it was time for a first building. Inspired by this quickie mart, I made a building. And this is how it turned out. What is this? Seriously? Point taken. I need to learn 3D modeling. And here we go. After a day of learning how to make a donut on Blender and me trying to make this building, I've got this. And with my confidence sky high, I placed it in the game. What? Not sure what happened here. But a quick fix. And this is what we have now. Next up, a house. Because you and your family need somewhere to live. A tree house, because you need to put your kids somewhere. A bar for when you go crazy from your kids. A school, so your kids can study Devno. A power plant, because a town needs power. And last, but not least, a prison with actual prison cells to throw your kids in when they are interrupting you watching Devno. And with that complete, we have a map to play on. Basic world map, done. Now an important aspect of these games is that you can unlock areas. So after figuring out how doors work, I was ready to become a door maker. And it looks like a door. And whoa, a door to the garage. Now after spending the rest of the day on making doors, I was finished. Doors finished. Next up, guns. Every game needs some kick-ass guns. So let's make a kick-ass gun. First, a hand catapult. And look at this beauty. My first kick-ass gun. Now a catapult needs some rocks. And after creating some rocks, whoa, it can shoot zombies. Now I would like to test it out, so I'll make some test subjects that look just fantastic. Seriously, ever seen such a pretty zombie? No zombies were harmed during this filming. No, you can survive a zombie horde with just a catapult. So here's a handgun, which looks so professional. Seriously, ever seen such a pretty handgun? Next, an automatic rifle, because yeah, automatic, you know. Then I asked my friend Longbin if you have any ideas, let me know. He said something that shoots donuts, however you spell that. Yep, my friends are high IQ. But there we have it, a donut bazooka that shoots donuts that explode. Fantastic. How can you make a zombie game without a ray gun? You don't. So here, you have an amazing ray gun that shoots rays and is very strong and whoa, 
very dangerous. Guns finished. Time to be an evil scientist and create zombies. And here is my basic model of a Simpson zombie, inspired by this Funko Pop figure. Don't worry, I learned about copyright now and will change this model a lot before I actually let you guys play it. Not only I have zero monies or lawsuits, I also have zero energy for dealing with that kind of stuff. But this model will do for now while I'm working on the game. Zombies walk. So I have to figure out how to make this model walk. Now how do I do this like a pro? I have to add bones. Bones allow you to move characters limbs. So not only am I a gun maker, a door maker, an evil scientist, I'm also a bone surgeon. So after adding some bones, Studying how people walk. I got this. Amazing, right? Now just to skip forward a bit, I did change the zombies slightly for me personally to these guys. However, the version you'll get will be even more different. Copyright safe. We need some exciting power-ups. And as in every game I do, I need to add Marcus. And look at this, he even has a little family. However, he's in prison and we have to free him in order to use his power-up or perk if you will. Which makes all the zombies go to him instead of you. Next perks highlight are insta-kill, nuke, ah. max health, Ooh. max ammo, ah. a money chest, ah. and this beautiful thingy that freezes all the zombies. Ah. Power-ups, done. I want my game to have something of Cyberpunk 2077, so let's look at some bugs before you mess around with my project. By the way, gameplay will be at the end of this video. Don't you worry. The most effective anti-zombie method? Jumping. As long as you jump, these zombies got nothing on you. Ever seen a dead zombie move? When the freeze ends, dead zombies move. The fix is easy though. You can do it. If you want to get rid of all the zombies chasing you, just stand on the stairs against the wall. They will run away. Another thing is that it's not really optimized in terms of money versus value. For instance, this door costs 10,000 to open, which is one of the most expensive ones. But nothing of value is behind it besides a nice view. Finally, you can't quit during play. You have to die first in order to quit. Just like in real life. <laughs> I can say this, making three models is awesome. Making 3D games is awesome. You can play the game for free, link in the description. I did change some things for the final version. You can download all the models, the scripts and whatnot for free and feel free to use it in any way you like. If you do use it, just credit my YouTube channel. That's all I'm asking. Now next time I'm gonna make something cool again and I wouldn't be a YouTuber if I wouldn't say subscribe and like and follow my Instagram and my Facebook and my OnlyFans and yeah, Let's see you noobs.